Alice Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for June 2024. So on June 20th, we have the sun moving out of Gemini energy, moving into Cancer energy. And of course, this triggers the solstice, the halfway point, if you will, in this year and the high point that we are reaching in this karmic chapter. Of course, we have to go back to Aries season when the spark, the fire, the flame, the resurrection, the rebirth of, I'm going to say, our soul, our spirit, this new version of self came out to play. We've been doing some experimentation, if you will, as we kind of weed away the old parts of self, the old realm and reality, and further anchor in the new version of self and the new realm and reality that this new version of self needs to create. We just came out of Gemini season where the division within oneself was being amplified. We had division between our heart and our head, between our ego self and our higher self, between our old self, our new self, our inner realm, our outer realm. Everything kind of got divided in the greatest of ways in order for us to sort through what needs to stay, what needs to go. The information, the perspectives, the situations, the circumstances that popped off in the Gemini energy was meant to kind of push us out of our comfort zones, to open up our minds to new ways of doing things. And now that the sun is moving into cancer energy, a cardinal water sign, this is the point in time where we merge those divisive parts of self back into one, back into wholeness. This is what creates the foundation that the cancer energy represents. Yes, cancer energy represents where it is that we've come from, the origin of who we are, the generational, I'm going to call it pain, trauma, power, and assets that we come from as well, and the roots that we have definitely established as we've grown to know thyself. Cardinal energy means it's time to change. It's time to pivot. There is a new path, a new direction that we need to be walking. Many of us not even receiving the information, the details of the options, the path, the plan, the strategy that we will be walking and locking in under the solstice energy until the final days of that Gemini energy as previously predicted. If you're still sitting in a situation where you're still not sure what to do, where you're going or what to pursue, then the Cancer energy, again, taking all the information that we accumulated in Gemini season down into the heart space. Now we have to navigate through the options, through the variables, through the opportunities using our heart space, using our intuition. The cancer energy being a water sign, of course, is going to bring up all the feels, of course, is going to make us hypersensitive where our intuition is concerned and put us in a situation to understand where it is that we need to nurture and nourish ourselves back to a place of happiness, of healthiness, of wellness, of safety, security, and stability. The cancer energy ruled over by the moon means that we're going to have to make even more of a point to follow the moon's energy and actions throughout the course of this cancer season because the moon who rules over our emotions, our unconscious self, our intuition is the key indicator of shedding the egoic programming that belongs to the old version of self. The cancer energy is highly defensive, super protective, especially when it comes to what it is that we've already built, what it is that we truly care about, especially in protecting and defending ourselves, because a lot of shit has hit the fan and we're in a very unfamiliar territory right now. We're real, we're raw, we're vulnerable. And because of that, we are not as safe and secure and stable within ourselves as we need to be. This particular Zodiac chapter in this year is about kind of focusing on what actually matters. Yes, that cancer energy is very connected to the home, to the family dynamic, to creating peace and harmony and safety and security within the home and those family relationships. But we really have to just understand that we've had information overload and because of that, we have a lot to process. And so we're going to take all of this information, all of these options, all of these variables, all of these situations and circumstances that popped off over the last month. Now we have to weed out what is actually important to us and leave the rest behind. 
whatever is important to us, we need to kind of squish those parts back together to understand the new foundation of self that we're now operating from. This is going to be a highly emotional time. Again, the cancer energy is overly attached to the past, which is a very interesting dynamic for us to deal with, seeing as we just got illuminated to where it is that we need to invite in the new. And so again, the first part of cancer season likely going to be stuck in the past, overly attached to the aspects that we know that we need to let go of. The mid part of cancer season is going to be where we're kind of feeling a little bit more safe and secure, definitely more grounded, definitely more sure of what it is that we have to let go of. And then we pivot and we spend the last part of cancer season building the new foundation, doing what we need to do to nurture ourselves back to a place of happiness, of health, of wellness, of safety, security, and stability. Now, there's a lot of inner child work that gets triggered and activated in this cancer energy, especially in relationship to the mother role, because of course, the inner child is basically showing us the version of self that we need to be as adults based on who it is that we wish was around to save us at the time in which we were navigating the world alone. And so we may actually experience a little bit of Peter Pan syndrome, meaning we don't want to grow up. We don't want to boss up to new roles and responsibilities. We don't want to do all of the hard things. We don't want to do what is needed and required of us to actually close the door on the past and actually make some progress towards our future goals, our future visions. So it is a very, I'm going to say tough energy for most people to navigate through, but we're entering into a new realm and adjustment is never easy. We are moving into a new timeline, into new soul contracts. And that again, really doesn't make us feel safe, secure, or stable. We are looking for what is tried, tested, and true. We're looking for what makes us feel safe, what is familiar to us. And we are going to be holding on probably too tightly to those particular aspects as we kind of dip our toe into this new realm, into this new path, into this new territory. So, you know, connections, especially where relationships are concerned, definitely going to hit some bumpy roads. Um, and we are definitely within ourselves getting to know a different part of self. So considering the fact that, again, taking you back to the new moon, solar eclipse in Aries that we had a couple of months ago, that's when the new version of self came out to play. We dove into that Taurus energy. We had to kind of slow things down, gain our bearing, so to speak. We had to do some self-love, self-confidence work, really get down to the nitty gritty of our wants, needs, and desires. We moved into the Gemini energy where we started to act Actually explore to see if the grass was actually greener on the other side and many of us found out that yes it actually is there is a huge part of us in the collective that found out the hard way that nope it's actually not but either way there is this element of realization that now we can cast away our curiosity for certain aspects of life that we've explored enough to know that they're not for us Again, the division that happened in that Gemini energy is now coming back into a state of wholeness and cancer season is here to help us to really anchor in, especially emotionally speaking, who it is that we now are, what matters most to us, what we need to build, what we need to create in order for us to feel safe and secure within ourselves.